Hello, welcome back to Sabah School Lesson Study. My name is Lawrence and this week we study Lesson 11, Longing for More. The memory text is given in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 6 and I quote, Now these things took place as examples for us that we might not desire evil as they did. Before we get into the lesson, let's first understand what a model is. A model is a representation symbol or a copy of something original in this week's lesson we study some models in the bible that point to its original keep watching show love and subscribe to join the happy sabbath family welcome back now sunday's lesson baptized into moses read first corinthians chapter 10 verse 1 to 11 what did Paul want to communicate when he used the word examples in verse 6? The word translated as example in verse 6 is typos, which means representation or symbol. In 1 Corinthians 10 verse 1 to 11, Paul refers to the experiences of the Israelites in verses 1 and 2 as type or symbol or examples of individual baptism. In the same way, in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 5, Paul refers to the earthly sanctuary as a type or example of the heavenly sanctuary. Now wait, the man this lesson is so special. Ritual and sacrifices. The Old Testament system of ritual and sacrifices offer more examples of a type. In Leviticus chapter 4 verses 32 through to 35, we see example of sin sacrifices where animal was killed for the remission of one sin. Again, what we see with the sacrifices in Leviticus chapter 4 verses 32 to 35 is an example of type or a model pointing to Christ's death and ministry in our behalf. Watch this. The Tuesday's lesson is so interesting. The example of rest. Did you know that the idea of type and symbol can apply to the biblical concept of rest? Read Hebrews chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. What is the promise of entering his rest referring to? We see that the verse 3 of Hebrews chapter 4 points to the close relationship of faith and rest. We can enter his rest only when we believe and trust the one who promised rest, that's Jesus Christ. Now wait, the Wednesday's lesson is so interesting and it talks about harden not your heart. Show love and subscribe to join the Happy Sabbath family. Read Hebrews chapter 4 verse 4 to 7. What warning is given there? The text talks about Israel's unfaithfulness and hence their failure to enter into the rest God wanted for them. So when Paul said today in the verses, it emphasizes urgency and warns God's people not to repeat the same mistake the Israelites did. So. Let's move on to the Thursday's lesson, Conquering a Heavenly City. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 8 to 11, it states that Joshua could not give them rest. But since there is another rest, it must include all those who have accepted Jesus as their personal savior. So there is no room for discrimination as revealed in Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 through to 29. Now, the text in Hebrews chapter 4 focuses on God's special rest in the end time and that the celebration of Sabbath rest now offers a taste of that end time rest. Show love and subscribe to join the Happy Sabbath family.